I survived 100 days as a maze runner. My goal is to navigate this giant maze and solve this insane puzzle in order to escape. Each and every day, there's only one door that is open. And inside each door, there's a hidden piece of wool. And you need all eight pieces of wool placed inside this monument to escape. Will I be able to solve the puzzle or will I die trying? Keep watching to find out. Oh my God, where am I? What is that noise? How did I even get here? Why is it so dark? I'm just gonna sit in this corner and cry all alone. Oh, it stopped. Okay. Where? Oh, okay. Where am I? There's giant walls. Our right, first things first. How do I get out of here? What's inside these chests? Oh, some planks and some tools and some food. Let's build out of here. Oh my God. It seems like I'm trapped in four giant walls. Whoa, there's a giant door opening into this wall. I wonder what's in there. I don't want to explore in there just yet because there's already a lot to explore in here. All I see are trees though, but there's openings on all four sides. Ooh, what is this? There's a broken down house right here. Let's enter there's a bed and a chest with a log book and a bunch of more beds with some compasses i wonder if this will be helpful later on and i didn't know what to do so i just closed my door barricaded myself off from the world and hid in the corner all the way until day two all right it's day two and it says the gates are opening what did i miss last night what is happening i don't really want to go into those doors just yet it's kind of scary let's get prepared first so let's collect some wood and also mine some stone and let's upgrade my tools let's also see what's inside this log book this book must be pretty old because there's missing words in here that i can't make out and reading the rest of this book it tells me a bunch of information about this maze but the thing that caught my eye is that there is something in here that i don't know about and i must find it it says it's underground hidden beyond the forest let's continue exploring to find it Ooh, there's a cave right here. Maybe this leads into it. Hopefully, there's no monsters in here. I do see some iron, which I need. Even more iron ore. And even some coal ore. Oh, it says the gates are closing. What? It seems like the gates have closed. And I'm trapped in here. Can I mine out? I can't. Well, hopefully, if the gates are closed, it means I'm safe. But let's just go to bed. I just got a message saying new supplies and a newcomer in the supply area. New supply. Oh, my God. There's actually somebody else. Hello. Can I trade with him? His name is Bruce. Hello, Bruce. I don't quite remember my name yet, but let's see what you got. I don't have any emeralds yet, though. And what supplies came? NPC. Ooh, some new tools. You're my friend, but I don't want you to get hurt, so I'm gonna cover you up. I'll let you out one day. Now let's continue searching for the underground area. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a ladder right there? Oh my god. Okay, I think we found it. Let's go down here, take out my iron sword, and let's be careful. Ooh, there's some stuff here. Let's take a look. Some more wood, sticks, and coal. Another chest of more coal and iron. All right, there's a door heading into here. It looks like this was a computer room or something. What's down here? But it doesn't look that good. Maybe there was somebody in there once. There's a long hallway over here. I'm really scared. Oh! <gasps> Our first encounter of a mob. He's enchanted bow. I'm kind of worried. But let's go in for the kill. Die. Oh, I got an emerald. It looks like mobs drop emeralds. Okay. What is this thing over here, though? There's 16 different colors laid out right here. <gasps> go away. Here's a tip book. All right. Seems like every different color has different difficulties. But there are different areas in the maze with different color wool that I need to get. And I'm guessing you place the wools right here until I collect all of them and I can finally escape. I then spent the entire day for exploring the cave and collecting enough resources to make armor but the further down i got into the cave i was met by a spawner with a bunch of zombies and skeletons that almost killed me so i went back up to smelt all of my iron and craft some armor all right now that i have a full set of armor i should be ready to fight those mobs they do spawn all around this area so i gotta be really careful i don't see any just yet oh there we go and this will be an amazing area to farm for emeralds to trade with my npcs i'm kind of being surrounded by a lot of mobs though they do not stop spawning oh i need to go i wonder what this is it looks like a little pod let's mine through here there's nothing all these zombies uh, uh. let's just be safe and light up this entire area hopefully that prevents all of these spawners from spawning a whole bunch of mobs oh my god they're everywhere is there any more spawners anywhere Ooh, i'm scared okay let's run down this cave now all right i made it down to this edge of this cave and it seems like there's a giant door right here i have no idea where it's gonna lead me but it looks like it's guarded by a bunch of mobs i'm kind of scared to flip that lever though let's kill this spider and let's flip the lever <gasps> you're oh. what is happening i'm running what just happened oh my god there's so many mobs okay i'm blocking myself in i'm gonna die i have no idea what that activated but i'm really scared i'm gonna spend the night over here all right let's mine out of here what's around me okay go away Ooh, i did get potatoes though from killing the zombies but it seems like that door didn't do anything let's flip it again 
the lights are turned on forever. It seems like I activated something that I probably wasn't supposed to. Let's head up to the surface and see if there's anything crazy happening up there. All right, we're all on the surface and I don't see anything really different. But let's finish smelting up all this iron here. And while I wait for that, let's grab my emeralds and go see my friend. Please tell me you're still alive. Oh, yes, you are. I think I'm gonna need a lot of bread. I can't let you out just yet though. And now I should finally be ready to enter the maze and see what's laying behind these walls. But before we do that, let's get some rest. I'm here bright and early and let's finally enter the maze and see what's laying beyond these walls. Okay, it looks pretty scary. There's a lot of webs and it's all overgrown. I really need to remember how to get out of here. So let's make a trail out. Let's put some wood pieces so I know where it came in from. Because if I stay here overnight, the gate's gonna close and I'm gonna be stuck in here all night. Do I go left or right? Left is more lucky. Let's go left. And there's nothing. Let's try to climb these walls. Maybe I can get above these walls. And it doesn't seem like I can. <gasps> there's a chest. Maybe there's something good in there. There's a notebook by Steve. And some wheat. Okay. It seems like Steve has been here as well. I'll read that when I get home. But let's continue exploring the maze. I ran out of blocks and I can't explore any further. So let's head home. What does this notebook say? It's three out of four. The notebook says every day another door opens and the one before closes. It looks like the number on the door matches with the number of days I've been here. But once all eight doors have passed, the cycle repeats. So on day nine, the door one is open. Day 10 is door two. I'm not sure what doors they're talking about, but that's something to take note of. But let's start collecting some more materials. So when I do explore the maze, I have some blocks to build it with so I know how to get out. And that's all the dirt I can collect right on time with the door closing. Yup. I'm going to bed. I'm scared. And let's try to find my way to these special doors. Oh, what is this? There's an iron fence here. Can I break it? Oh, let's get through right here. Oh, there's a tree in here. I guess it's more peaceful in here than I thought. And we ran into a dead end. I'm going to make sure I cover all of the dead end so I don't go back into that part of the maze. Let's continue. And doing this will really help me figure out where the main pathway is to get to these doors. Oh, another dead end, but there's a chest with the first notebook. Another dead end. Ooh, another chest with a note two. All I need is one more note and then we have the whole series. I'm starting to get really lost in here though. Okay, we're slowly carving out the correct path that may lead me to the secret door. All these areas are dead ends. Let's continue. Oh, what is this? Okay, this is the first structure I found in here. Can I mine this? I can. This is probably where the maze changes every night. Oh no, it is getting really dark though. I really need to get out. Oh no, the gates are closing. Oh, it's too late. It's way too late. Oh, no, this is not good. Looks like I'm stuck in the maze tonight. Okay, let's play it really safe here and continue exploring. <laughs> Oh, oh, that guy jump scared me. Oh, no. I guess that's what spawns. What is that? Should I go attack? Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Ooh, 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 ooh. Go, go, go. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm safe in here. Okay, I'm staying here all night. And at night, this maze is crawling with wither skeletons on spiders. We call them grievers. I'm gonna make a run for it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. There's so many. Go, go, go. They didn't see me. How do I get out? This is a dead end. Hold on. This doesn't make any sense. My tracks leave me right into a dead end. There's literally no way out. The maze must have changed overnight. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to keep going deeper into the maze. This is not good. It's already midday as well. Well, let's keep exploring. What is this place? Hmm. Okay, this looks different. I must be getting closer to a door or something. Another dead end over here. Uh, whoa. Wait, is this home? Oh, I found a door. Door three and it's open. Hold up. This is definitely not my home. Oh man, it looks like an island. But this must be the area where I find the missing wool. Let's explore this place and see what I can find. There's a lot to explore though. There's a whole bunch of monuments and broken ships on the floor. Maybe the wool's hiding somewhere in there. But let's check above ground first. Ooh, I found a little entrance right here. Where does this lead me to? There's a chest. Okay, there's a lot of rails and mine carts. This is telling me something. Let's see what what's inside here hopefully I don't get trapped oh it goes really deep all right let's go and we've made it down <gasps> okay this must be a secret passageway or something maybe this leads me back home since it gives me so many rails to build with there's way too many mobs to go down there though oh and it's nighttime the gates have closed 
I should be safe in here, hopefully. But let's just be safe and go to bed. Okay, never mind. It's not safe to sleep here. And my bed disappeared. Nice. It looks like I'm hiding throughout the entire night. Yeah, I actually stayed AFK a little too long. And now it's day 12. Um, that was a mistake. Oh, that isn't good. The door closed. But let's continue searching for that wool piece that I need. I think my best chances are to find them in the water or in the ocean monument. So let's dive down here and see what I can find. Oh, there's a spawner right here. Ow. Oh, no. Let's make a wooden door. And let's head back down. Let's see if there's any good loot down here. And, ooh, kelp block, a trident. And there's a guardian spawner right in there. I am out. Oh, I need to breathe. Go, 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 go. Another chest. Ooh, finally, a diamond. Exactly what I was looking for. And loyalty, two. With water breathing, three. Nice. And some more loot in this chest with another water breathing. Eight minutes now. Holy cow. And a turtle shell helmet with respiration, two. That would be helpful. Ooh, some emerald blocks. And there's riptide in here. Cool. And another diamond. It seems like all of these chests are giving me the books I need to make an awesome trident, which is good. But all these emerald blocks will also come really handy. Ooh, yes, more diamonds and aqua affinity. And now I should be ready to go to the ocean monument and get that wool but before we do that let's make a quick anvil here and let's make the op trident Yee. oh and the gates are closing i am safe from the reapers in here though which is nice but i'm still gonna hide like a baby and let's start early on this ocean monument let's go let's drink one of these water breathings let's get my trident ready and let's go take that wool if only i could swim any faster wow this ocean monument is uh, a lot bigger <laughs> than the regular one Ooh, a chest flown four potions and some emeralds yo this boy got a diamond sword Ooh, wait, wait. Hey, I got it. Oh, another guardian guarding this chest. And a lot of sea lanterns. Riptide 3. Some golden apples. This would be really helpful. Oh, boy. Here comes the big guys. I don't think there's anything special in here. Is there a chest right there? Oh, no, there isn't. I am curious what's over there, though. Let's make a quick swim. Go, 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 go. Okay, I made it. Oh, you can fit through. Squidward. Hey, you better run. Yeah. All right. And nothing worth it. Before I explore even more, let's put all this stuff inside a chest. And let's also make a diamond axe. All right, let's continue exploring. Okay. Oh, hello, sir. Uh, let me just come by here and steal a chest. Ooh, some books. Loyalty three. And see ya. Oh, yes. Even more diamonds. Oh, and the gates are closing once again. Found another chest with some more stuff in it. And there's one last area I need to check out, which is over here. Still no signs of wool, though. Okay, let's just quickly swim by here. Okay, this chest is in glass. What is in here? Oh, I have mining fatigue, bruh. But maybe the special item I'm looking for is in there. Let's keep looking around until my mining fatigue is over. All right, I finally don't have mining fatigue. And let's get into here and see what's hiding inside this chest. Please be what I'm looking for. Yes, the monument completion block. I'm out of here. Ah, so nice being out of the water. But it seems like the gate has closed and I can't get out. So the only way out is through this mine shaft. I have no idea where it leads me to, but I'm guessing it goes back to my home. Let's grab these rails and let's start working a minecart system that i have no idea where it will lead me and it led me right into a dead end with a wall i can't mine but this says push and dig all right let's click the button oh okay it breaks the wall and now i dig okay where is this gonna lead me into and into a cave i've been here that is what i clicked right well no, that's a different one okay this is my cave though it 100 is looks like i'm back home this must correspond to the door three. Oh man okay i have no idea what that does but it gives me chills hold on a second this door just opened. This was the weird thing I was talking about. Okay, I think we're slowly solving this. Let's take a sign here and mark it door three. Oh, yeah, it's nice to be home finally. Let's start moving all of my valuables back home. And now on day 15, I'm actually going to destroy this house and build a new one. Just take a look at it. It's, it's broken. A god can't live like this. Let me build a new house. Hey, there we go. No, I was kidding. And there we have it. There's my house. That took a while. And I still need to organize my chests and make a chest system. Let's continue working, but the gates are opening on day 16, and I'm still too scared to go back in. I'll make another re-entry soon. But for now, let's relax and build a chest room and a nice little home and with all of these beds let's make a giant bed because you know i'm just ginormous and i would already take up this entire thing and i totally forgot about this the sign will monument block let's go down here and here we are now i'm guessing i need to put the sign wool above this let's go you added the sign wool to the monument only like 16 more to go bruh and i'm guessing this is my way out of here it's day 17 and new supplies and a newcomer has come i totally forgot about this box hopefully my friend bob is still alive and he is oh we have three now oh we have four actually we have tobias or oh, a cow spawn egg we have joe with a sheep spawn egg we have boris with a pig spawn egg and our boring guy bruce what are the new supplies though some more food some more coal an iron chest plate protection 
diamond three and a diamond pickaxe. Nice. Let me go grab my emeralds and trade with these guys. I have a ton. Let's grab a couple chicken spawn eggs. Let's grab some cows, some yummy bacon, and let's grab some sheep. And some arrows would be great as well because I need to start enchanting a bow. All right. I think that's all I need for now, guys. I'll make you guys a home one day. But for now, I'm trying to keep you guys safe. And with all of these new animals, let's make a farm. First, we need some wood to craft some more fences. Here's the chickens. Here are the sheep, the Canadian bacon, and all of the cows. And now let's also replant my tree farm. All right, now let's use all these books I got and let's make some bookshelves so I can start enchanting. Bam. And let's slap it right over here in this corner. And now let's go find some lava underground. Oh, finally. Let's turn this into obsidian and let's yoink this up. And bam. And now I can finally start enchanting, but I have no levels, which is a problem. But not for me because I'm smart. I always have a solution. Let's come down here to the cave again and let's actually turn all of these spawners hidden in the ground into grinders. And this will give me a lot of XP. Let's first start off by clearing out an area. And there's a total of four spawners. And this is taking way too long to mine out with regular diamond pickaxe oh man it sounds like it's nighttime now but i'm actually gonna let this spawner run so i can get to level 30 and enchant this pickaxe all right so i got to level 30 and bruh i forgot i don't have any lapis to enchant this is not good let's spend some time searching around this cave to see if there's any lapis but i really doubt it there's only iron and coal i'm out of luck i guess i'm gonna have to run without enchantments for now but let's go back into the maze it's been a while the good news is i do have a bow with all of these arrows and this insta damage will do wonders and as also take some golden apples let's make some diamond leggings and a diamond helmet let's get protection three on my pants and i think i'm ready to go going into the maze gives me an eerie feeling again but i have to if i want to escape oh man there's a lot of stuff going on over here is it telling me to parkour up here let's see where it's trying to bring me and i don't really see anything useful up here i'm not gonna stop searching until i find the hidden door i found this part of the maze where there's a little gap into the wall i wonder where this leads me let's go and find out oh no the gates are closing okay good thing i found this little spot right here it seems pretty safe just in time i'm gonna block myself off here and i should be good with these reapers all right it's day 20 and let's continue exploring the maze i do hear some creepy noises on the other side of this wall and there's a little monument right here looking like the other gate I'm guessing there's a lot of reapers on the other side. Ooh, there's a lot of leaves over here and a tree. Why is this place so overgrown? This looks like a little entry into something. Another dead end. And oh, oh. Okay, I found the entry into door seven. It's closed though. I'm not sure when it'll open, but here we go. We found door seven. And since we're on day 20, door four should be open. Now, how do I make it back home? Let's try my best to make it out of here. Okay, I ran right back into this, which is good news. It means we're pretty close to home. I have to make it back before the sun sets though and oh i found it oh, oh go 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 oh Thank God I made it in. Let's just rest through it this night. All right, it's day 21, and I got more supplies and a newcomer. Hello, buddies. What's the new supplies? Diamond boots, some coal, and some Popeye's chicken. Nice. And feather falling four. Is this a sign? Let's see. Who's a new guy? George. Mushroom spawn egg, sand, and oh, lapis. Yes, I get a chance. Okay, thank you. Thank you, George. I love you. Let's grab my emeralds, and let's get a bunch of lapis. Okay, that was maybe a little too much. I'll make you guys a home soon on day 101, but now I can finally enchant let's get my pickaxe in here i'm breaking three do i risk it let's go eh, bruh let's at least get feather falling four of my boots let's continue working on this xp farm and unfortunately i still don't have efficiency four let's start grinding some more mobs give me your xp all right let's pray i get efficiency four this time come oh yes let's go fortune three as well this will make my life a lot easier uh why are there so many mobs all right let's start finishing up this mob farm well there's nothing to finish up i haven't even started all right this is what i got so far I'm just gonna put water all the way through here and push all the mobs down into a killing area. And this one just like a auto one out. I'm gonna have to find a way to include this guy. But it's nighttime and tomorrow is day 23, which means gate seven is open. All right, it's day 23. Now let's head over to gate seven. And we should be getting closer. Here we are. Gate seven's open. Nice. Let's see what is over here. There's some water. Let's get a higher view of everything. Okay, it seems like the entrance might be right over there. Let's get my water bucket out and let's jump down. Okay, I found a chest right here. Ooh, some diamonds. And is there anything up here? No. Oh, there's a little gateway up there, though. I'll check that out in a second. I really want to know what's through this door. All right. Ooh, just a chest. And all right, this is the minecart back home. Seems like the most important place is this door right here. Oh, man. Where the heck are... 
What? Okay, it looks like it's a giant swamp. Oh, I thought that was an ender dragon spawner. There's phantom spawners around. And you guys know I hate phantoms, so it's a good thing I have a bow and a trident. Let's get in here and find the wool piece. This is gonna be a really hard game to play. I'm finding a needle in a haystack right now. Okay, the water is poisonous. How on earth am I supposed to find a piece of wool in here? Oh, what is this? I found a ravine. This might be where the wool is hiding. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What is that? That is not even fair. I'm jumping down. There's no way you can fight those things. What? Oh, I was wondering what was hitting me. There's an invisible spider right here. Oh, my God. Okay. Hide, 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 hide. All right, this is a little harder than the first one I went to. These spiders, where are they coming from? Oh, there must be a spawner over here somewhere. Oh, there you are. I got to be careful not to touch the sewage water, though. It looks like there's another sewage over here. So let's jump down here and see. Oh, there's a chest over here. Maybe this has the wool I'm looking for. All right, please. Oh, it's not. With more golden apples. Oh, man. Okay, this sewage is a lot bigger. Oh, man. What spawner is that? Oh, just a puffer fish. All right, let's break it anyways. Of course, there's a creeper waiting for me. Jump down here. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, don't blow it up. Woo. And please. Oh, just a block of diamonds. I mean, that's still really good. I really need that. All right, but I ran into another area. And it doesn't look like there's anything special in here. There is another entrance to a sewer. There's nothing else, though. So this one has to be something good. All right, we are down. And okay, that has to be it. Let's break these spawners. Oh, there's no spawners in here. Okay, I think we found it, guys. And yes, we found the brown wool monument. Let's get out of here now. Let's run away from these phantoms. I hear them. Ah, Ooh. Yes, we are out and we can finally head home. Let's grab all this. Jump down. Oh, I gotta be careful here. I'm in a sewage, but as long as it's a way home, I'm happy with that. And we have finally made it. We gotta push this. And looks like I'm digging up this time. Oh, right into the maze. I did not expect that. Okay, please tell me I'm close to the door. Where did it lead me to? Okay, I found my way out. It's pretty close by. And with this brown wool, let's head down to the control room. And let's slap her down right on the brown wool. I have no idea how to get all of these colors when there's only eight doors. Now let's continue working on this mob farm so i can have some xp to enchant all of my armor and tools all right this is what i got so far all i gotta do is slap some water in let's remove all of these torches and there we go we got our mob spawner and there's a ton of mobs in here it's gonna be so easy xp and it gives me a lot of emeralds as well but now i'm gonna spend all day just enchanting all of my stuff and making sure i have the best enchantments let's go check if we got any newcomers hello buddies Ooh, looks like it's getting crowded in here eric is new what you got eh it's okay i really I wish there was sugar cane somewhere so I could make a map. It would make traveling this giant maze so much easier. But now let's start working on a little wheat farm for my cows. Because I need them to start breeding so I can have some more food. Let's grab some seeds. And let's build the farm right over here. Now we wait for the seeds to grow. But after doing some investigation, I realized that door number three is facing this way. South. And from looking at the railroad, seven ends over here on the other side. So I can figure out where all the doors are at. I'm guessing there's two doors on every single side since there's eight different doors it mentioned. So I must go three, four, five, six, and then land on the seven over there, eight. And one and two will be this way. That is at least my guess. And you might be wondering why this is helpful. Well, today is day 29, which means gate five is open. That means I have to search it on this side of the wall. All right, it's day 30 and let's go find gate number six. Okay, this is kind of weird. An obsidian door. I mean, that's not really stopping me. I could just build it right over it, but I've never seen something so barricaded off. I must be going the right direction, I think. All right, I found door six, but unfortunately, I had to stay a night in the maze and it just closed on me. But right now on day 31, door seven is open. But now let's head back and let's actually aim for door one because it might take two to three days to find that. Finally, get to see green grass. I feel so safe being in here. Gate eight is open on day 32, which is that way, but I'm actually going to search for gate number two this time just to be safe. So that gives me enough time to actually find it and be there when the door opens. Let's go searching. You know what? Let's actually turn around and grab some food. <laughs> oh, hey, I found gate number one. Gate number two should be right beside it this way. I could stay for gate number one. Yeah, let, let's stay for gate number one. What am I doing? <laughs> let's just make myself a little corner right here and wait until day 33. Oh, finally, it's day 33. That took a while. Oh, yes. Gate one is open, and this is the same one in Maze Runner, where all of these turn and lock you out. I did see a gate right over there, but that 
that probably leads me home. And yes, it does. So there's definitely another door somewhere here. Oh, I see something over here in this corner. And it leads me into a cave. Okay, it's opening up. And it looks like we're in a huge forest with no daylight at all. It covers the entire sky. Okay, I do see a spawner over here. So let's break it before it spawns anything. Is there endermite on the spider? All right, I see a chest right over here. And nothing too valuable. What is this down here? Oh, what the heck is that? Upside down witches? Ah, what's hitting me? Oh, I hate these invisible spiders. Where are you at? Yeah, that isn't even fair. Yeah, let's build up here and block myself off from... Bruh, this spider's so annoying. Let's kill these stupid witches. Ye All right, yeah, let's go break the spawner. Break that, okay. Now let's head down here. Ooh, another chest with a spawner. Break that. Oh, man. Ugh. And let's see what's inside this chest. Insta damage, some gold, and nothing else. Is that a spider on top of a spider? Bro, what is happening? Down here, though, looks like a whole nother world. And uh, I don't really want to go down there. It looks like there's four spiders in one. They have like 16 legs, yeah. Why don't I just throw my insta damage down there? Oh, that didn't do anything. Okay. And after killing a bunch of 16 leg spiders, I then found this little door. So I entered it and there it was. The wool I was looking for. And here goes the green. We only have five more doors to explore. But now I want to make a cool little monument to show which door is where. Let's smelt up some cobblestone here. And let's smelt it again to get smooth stone. And with this, let's make out a little circle here. And let's start filling it in. And there we go. We got a nice little area right here where I can see where all the doors are located. But now let's start working on a home for all of these villagers because they've been living in this elevator for way too long i feel kind of bad let's first start off by clearing out an area all right let's start building a holding cell for my villagers i mean not a holding cell a beautiful home <laughs> totally not a prison all right we got the house all built and ready let's push down some beds so the villagers can at least take a nap and some lanterns for some light now let's build a pathway all the way over to their new home all right buddies let's go time to visit your brand new home all right up the stairs you guys go oh yeah bruce knows this spirit this guy's ready to go all these guys have no idea what to do they're slowly making progress over there but they're not really doing it quickly enough i did get a new supply drop though oh lapis well i don't really need it anymore since one of these guys trade lapis now oh i got joe kim i can trade for diamonds obsidian i mean that seems pretty good but it probably won't be some pumpkin pie and sharpness five i need that can i put that on my axe that'll be insane please oh my god actually works let's go sharpness five on my diamond axe those reapers have nothing against me now but while i wait for for these villagers to move into their new home let's go explore the maze again i still have five more doors to explore i finished off door one door three and door seven and right now on day 40 door eight is open but since i already finished one let's go for door two all right let's head into the maze and find this door Ooh, i found where the reapers spawn let's just uh stay away from here that place scares me what is this i just ran into two doors or gates what it's like blocking me off it's like a barricade okay maybe i'm getting close Oh no, the gates are closing and that means the reapers are coming out. I still can't find the gate number two. So let's just build up here and hide. I don't want to deal with those reapers. They're scary. And let's hide right here until day 41. Hello, hello. All right, it's daytime. Let's continue searching. Ye Hopefully there's no reapers anywhere. Uh, you know what? Let's try my sharpness five on these guys. I haven't fought one of these reapers in a while. Is it a golden apple? Oh my God. Oh, that's scary. Um, let me just sneak by you here. I'm starting to give up hope. I have no food and no water and no friends. What should I do next? On the next episode of Survivor. Yeah, I think I'm losing my mind, guys. I, I literally cannot find this door. Oh, bro, no. <laughs> Let's go. It's currently day 41, so that means door number one is open. I gotta wait another day. Day 42. Please be open. Let's go. All right. Looks like a weird monkey obstacle course. Perfect for me, actually. All right. Here's the way home. And let's check the surrounding area to see if there's any chests laying around. I feel like I'm in a monkey gym, though. <gasps> Yay. Ugh. There's this giant hole right here. Is that a hot air balloon? Okay, this is looking kind of suspicious. There's no way this map is that easy, right? Like, there's no way the wool is just chilling down there. Let's slap some water down just in case. And let's monkey climb here. Let's see what I'm looking for. Any spawners? Okay, I don't see anything yet. This is really odd. There's nothing special right here. Maybe it's in the hot air balloon? And I don't see anything just yet. Am I being baited? There's definitely something I'm missing. What if I click one of these buttons here? Oh, oh, <gasps> what just happened? What? Okay, that is super weird. It looks like a giant end city, but like steampunky. I'm sure there's gonna be some creepy things up here, so let's be prepared. Oh, I was right. What is that? <gasps> okay, that boy looked like a juggernaut. What's up here? Another spawner. Hello, sir. Boy, you got a wooden sword. You think that could do anything on me? Bruh. Ow. <gasps> okay, never mind. I think he has knocked back. He almost knocked me off. 
Oh my god, what is that? Let's just shoot him through here. Looks like there's a shulker over there. Where is he at? Where's the shulker at? In there. Break that. Oh, that's a moving shulker? Hello? That's not even fair. Okay, let's kill this shulker box. It's flying somehow. <gasps> oh, oh. Gotta be careful here. Let me just hide in this corner. All right, let's break this. Oh my God. Yep. Let's just not mess with those guys. See you later. See you. I don't know what type of enchantments these skeletons have, but it's not fun. Oh my God. They're not powerful, but their enchantment is insane. What? I can't find where the wool is placed at though. It has to be at the very top, right? Oh my. This knockback is too OP. Let me jump up here, dodge them out real quick, break that. And we're at the top, I think. Let's get up here. Maybe the wool is up here. I'm really hoping it is. I mean, I do see some leaves, which is a good sign. Bruh, I really climbed up here to see no wool. I wasted all that time. This place seems pretty safe, though, and the sun is setting. So let's just spend the night here. All right, it's day 43. Let's go find this piece of wool. Now, where could this thing be? I literally searched like 90% of this area. Unless it's hiding somewhere. Maybe it's in here. Oh, okay. I guess it is in here. I did not expect that. Is this it? Oh my god. All right, we found the orange monument block. That was so unexpected. I was looking at this big middle piece that's shaped as a diamond. I'm like, hmm, that looks suspicious. But now let's head back home. Let's just parkour down. Whee! Ugh. Close the gate. Right click. And we're back. We made it out alive. And the orange wool is in. Let's go. We're getting there. We have four done. We're halfway there. And door number two is complete. But now it seems like the villagers are getting way closer to their home, which is really good. I think I can cut them off now. Let's just keep pushing them forward, and making sure they don't go backwards. All right, wait for the night to come, and they're all running towards their beds. I might not have enough for all the villagers, but hopefully they all still go in. And come on, buddy. Let's go. It worked. Trap them in. And now they're in their new home. All right, I just got a brand new newcomer. And I'm praying he trades paper. Because I really need to make a map. It'll make navigating the maze way easier. Come on, Seth. Treat me well, bookshelf. And... Ooh, a shulker box. I don't really need it, though. There is a really OP bow in here, though. Mending and infinity. I can combine it with this to make a super OP one. And a really OP sword. I'm sorry, but I'm going to leave you behind. I don't need you anymore. That was a pretty good drop. But come on, Seth. Come to your new home. Yo, I got iron golems now. Now too they can protect me let's go maybe one day the reapers will enter this village like the maze runner movie who knows oh i can't combine it. it's too expensive i guess i want to stick with power four but now let's make this area more of my home since it actually is my home let's clear all of these trees fix up the land and also make a really cool spot to go down underground into my safe bunker let's start off by clearing these trees and let's get some leaves there we go it looks so much cleaner without any trees oh and the gates just closed right on time let's go to bed and you know what i think it's finally time to feed my animals it's been long enough let's grab this wheat and give them some food to eat make some more babies realistically i just wanted more bread <laughs> but now i want to spend some time to travel back to the four doors that i've been to and see if there's any sugar cane or paper anywhere because making a map will make this job a lot easier so let's head back to all of these doors Okay, we're on day 55, but a new message came. It says I hear something moving near the monument. That isn't good. I might be getting attacked at the home base. Oh, this isn't good at all. I'm not even there to protect it. But let's quickly explore all of these ships once again to see if there's any paper I missed or something. Bruh, I went through all that trouble to find nothing. I want to be door to the explorer and find a map. But I really need to head home because it said I hear something in my monument area, which is at my base, and I'm kind of afraid. Let's make sure everything is safe over there. All right, let's head down there now. Let's get my bow ready. Over there is a monument room. Was this always here? Hold up. Let me click this button. I don't see anything suspicious yet. There must be something here, though. It gave me a warning. Oh, I think it skips days for me. It says the gates are closing. It just said that. Oh, I just skipped two days by accident that cuts my recording time in half but that's cheating but i think there wasn't really a threat i think it was just a warning i don't see anything creeping up on me yet and keyword is yet i'm sure something will come down here soon so i should set up some defense or something because this is my only way out of here this monument area and i think playing with that button messed up my doors a little bit because uh, they keep spewing out smoke and they won't close which isn't good it's nighttime right now and the doors are wide open i definitely broke something clicking that button but now let's take my emeralds and trade with some of these villagers 
because I could get a sugar box from this guy. And they're dirt cheap as well. Might as well grab a bunch. Oh, is this a new one? Jorn? I did. Oh, <laughs> yo. Oh, that is so OP. I have to get another star and a totem of undying. I have to. I'm running out of emeralds, but let's get one of each. These diamond blocks are kind of not worth it, but come on. I have to get another golden apple. Okay, I really need to get this guy in the safe. No, no, don't run back. Don't run back. I cannot lose this guy. I think there's going to be an attack. But I don't need this poopy shield anymore. I could just get this totem of undying. I don't have enough emeralds to trade even more. But the good news is I did make that OP XP farm. So let's spend the next couple of days just grinding these guys and getting emeralds. All right, it's been a while and I've got around four stacks of emeralds already. But that's only going to get me four items. Let's fill up this whole inventory. I'm finally done and I end it with a stack and 43 emeralds. I would say that's pretty successful. Nah, that's cap. Look at my shulker box. <laughs> I'm loaded, bro. All right, let's see my boy. Let's grab all of these emeralds and let's start trading for some goodies. Let's get another nether star. Might as well. Some golden apples. I'm literally never going to run out. And some totem of undyings. I'm going to keep some emeralds, though, just in case another guy comes with even better trades. But I think it's finally time to go find another door. It's day 65, so let's aim for day 67, which will be door number three. But let's go for door number four. That will be on day 68. But I have some time to kill. So let's breed these cows again and these sheep. Into the maze we go. I just found where all the reapers spawn. And I'm actually going to try to make a little bunker system and try to farm these reapers. I'm not sure why I want to do that, but it'll be fun. I think I have the ability to defend myself now. I have all the stuff I need. So let's build a little rooftop here to catch the reapers. And I will stand right here where I can grind them out. Oh, and the gates are closing. Perfect time. Okay. And right here will be my secret area just in case I get swarmed and I can hide right here. But they should be spawning any second now oh I, he I see some smoke some weird noises that, that i don't like oh there's one okay oh they're fast oh i do not like those noises where's he at he's under me he's actually damaging himself yo you, you good brother all right I'll, I'll put you out your misery yo how many hearts does this guy have oh wow those guys are op the reaper didn't drop anything special though other than emeralds oh he's coming oh ooh, hello sir it's nice to meet you too, bro. Um, okay, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I've spent the last day trying to find number four, but this one is way harder to find. I've been running into so many dead ends. This maze is starting to look so identical. Every corner I'm taking, I'm losing my track. Oh, I finally found it. Gate number four on day 68. This looks pretty much the same as the other gates I've been to. I wonder what's in these holes. And eh, nothing. How about this hole over here? Ooh, it leads to another area. Okay, it looks the same though. I don't see any... Oh, there we go. That's the door I'm looking for. Ooh, it leads into a giant desert area. This place doesn't look that hostile, but you never know for sure. What's inside this house? Some books, some food. There's an underground portion. Oh my god. Oh, that gave me wither? Oh, give me nausea five. Is that the boss? Oh, no. There's flying gorillas. Not my favorite. Okay, let's eat a golden apple. And let's go in. Okay, one hit. What's up, boy? Oh, oh, oh. Where'd you come from? Where, where did all these guys come from? Uh, 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 what the heck? Go, 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 go. Where did these gorillas come from? What? It just came out of nowhere. I just need to focus on killing this boss. Oh, my God. There's so many of these guys. It's a whole mob. Okay, let's take out these guys. And let's eat another notch apple. And I really need to break that spawner. What just hit one? Where did these guys come from? Okay, let's break these spawners here. Oh, there's the boss. Let's trap him in. Oh, my God. I yeah, got one. Do these guys have fire aspect? Where are they coming from? Okay, there's another guy over here. All right, he's down. Oh, is there a spawner in here? Oh, my God. That's where they're coming from. You know what? I'm going to hide out and re recoup. Hey, it's day 69. Let's continue exploring the... Bro, what? There's... Bl are you serious? Okay, let's just hide inside one of these houses. Oh, and it looks like it leads underground as well. I guess it's all connected. Ooh, another notch apple. Oh. Look at this speed and fire resistance. What did I just walk into? Still no signs of the wool, though. Oh, my God. Dude, this is this is getting a little out of hand here. We could talk about it. You guys aren't going to do any damage to me. Like, I have 600 pounds of body armor on me right now. There's a reason why I eat so much. Oh, I just broke... What does that do? Okay, I just broke the tombstone and it activated something. I have no idea what, but what's inside this chest? Another notch apple. I didn't know, but just above me was the final boss. Okay, that guy has a weird coin above his head. I'm not sure what that is, but let's go say hi to him. Ooh. Oh, what is his name? Perimtheus? Is this guy a god? He still can't touch me though. What's up, boy? Yeah. Who's the boss now? Okay, that guy's the boss. Was he protecting the wool? And he was not. What's in here? Hello, sir. Oh my god. Can maybe. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Haha, <laughs> psych. You guys fell. Oh, 
Okay, never mind. I fell in their trap. Let's go inside here and break all these stupid spawners here. Let's break this. All the spawners should be gone, bro. They just don't stop coming, do they? All right, we're finally here. What does this say? Summon Kiri the Weaponsmith. Oh, that doesn't sound good. All right, let's click it. A newcomer has arrived in the loading area. What? It says he's a weaponsmith, so he might have super OP stuff. Or it could be a trap and something terrible. But I still haven't found the wool yet. Let's continue searching. Okay, I've been searching this entire thing for days. This giant temple. And you would not believe what I found. The monument was never in this temple or underground. It has been right here the entire time. All this was just for show and it was a distraction. Like, bruh. Man, give me this yellow wool. That was such a waste of time. All right, let's get out of here. And there we have it. The yellow one is in. Three more to go. And we're out of here. Door four complete. But clicking that button summoned a weaponsmith, it said. Oh, it must be you. You're the special guy. All right, let's see. Oh. Oh, that's some pretty good enchantments. Sweeping edge 10. Sharpness 8 axe. Now that is already better than my axe. And a netherite sword. Honestly, I thought this would be more insane, but I'll take it. Let's take, you know, some of my few emeralds. And I'm gonna get an infinity bow and a sharpness 8 axe. And let's combine the bow. And now I finally have infinity. Now with these netherite stars, I can finally make a beacon. And I don't have a lot of iron or anything, but I do have a lot of emeralds. So it looks like we're using this to make the beacon. Let's get some more emeralds. Emeralds. All right, let's start working on this beacon. I'm not sure where to put it, though. Let's just slap it down right over here. All right, here we go. And I still need obsidian to make the actual beacons. I'm back here in Arena 4, and I remember there's a lot of lava here, so let's collect some obsidian. Bam, bam. Let's get speed 2 in, and regeneration. You know what? Might as well fill in the other spots with two more beacons. Let's get strength 2, and jump boost 2. Now, if there's ever an attack on me, I should be ready. All right, it's time to go to another door. What should we choose? I haven't been to this side so today gate five is open but tomorrow gate number six will be open so i have to find it pretty quickly here oh uh, yes i finally found it gate number six and this looks like the last stage where the maze runner ran when they ran down here and griever started jumping down let's run through here hoping the same thing doesn't happen oh it looks like there's a little trigger right here let's go right by that and we made it safely over here what does this lever do? Oh, it just lit up something here. And over here, there's a jump boost potion. I'm guessing I'm going to need that. Oh, that guy has a trident and he's floating. Hello, uh, you're, you're not really in the water. I'm not sure why you have a trident, but I'm just going to put you out your misery here. Ow, what is happening here? This place looks pretty huge. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, oh I didn't mean to jump down here. Oh, no. This is a good splash, splash, splash. Go, go, go. Oh, oh, they got jump boost. I jump boosted them. Okay, let's come down here. Let's jump over here. Oh. oh, oh, okay. There's another button over here. Let's click that. Oh, I do not like that noise. I don't think I'm looking in the right places, though. I feel like this isn't where the wool would be. There's another button over here. Okay, there are buttons all over this place. Oh, it's getting really loud now. The higher I get, maybe it's telling me to head up to the very top. All right, another one here. Oh, yeah, it's getting real loud. Let's continue building up a chest over here with some slime blocks and vines. It seems like it's hinting towards me having to fall. All right, let's build even higher here. I'm at the limit. Never mind. All right, this place is way too big. Let's do this tomorrow. Let's block myself in here. Okay, I just found this thing on the wall. I think I need to light up all of these lights, which are the buttons. That is what I'm guessing. So there should be one more of those buttons somewhere on the floor. At least that's what I'm hoping it is. I haven't been to this one yet. It's not lit up. Let's click it. All right, I hear the noise. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Let's just follow these paths. Oh, here's another one. Let's click it. I really hope I'm doing the right thing right now. Oh, yeah, this one lit up. Okay, we need five more to light up and then we should be good oh i hear something opening that wasn't there before let's go in and see that was the hardest i had to work for one of these monument blocks yes the white one you guys have no idea how long it took to find all of these buttons let's head home let's go can't forget to switch this i have no idea what that's supposed to do but it sounds crazy and the white one is in we have two more doors to go through and i'm not sure where i'm supposed to get these other pieces of wool but that'll be for another day i have no idea what these do let's just click all of them hopefully they don't blow up and i just checked my supply drop area and i got some more stuff look at this trident jeez all right i don't need this one anymore and a op crossbow let's test this out dang and you know what i'm so confident that this crossbow will do so well against these reapers that i'm gonna spend a night 
purposefully in the maze. I'm gonna try out all my new weapons with a Sharpness 8 axe and a brand new trident. All right, I found myself one of the spawners right where it hid in the beginning of this video. But this time, I'm ready for them. Let's build a little hideout. And all we gotta do is wait for the night. All right, the gates are closing and they should be spawning any second now. All right, let's take out my Sharpness 8. And how fast can I kill this guy? Oh, oh, he climbed right through. Yeah, this isn't as strong as I thought it would be. He can't even kill the spider. Okay, let's try this crossbow. Yeet. Oh, I shot myself. How about the trident? I finally killed the spider, and this reaper is just suffocating right now. Oh, that didn't work out the plan. You know what? I don't even need this bunker. Let's get out of here. Come here. I'm not afraid. Yeet. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Go, go, go. How many shots is it going to take? I'm not as strong as I thought I would be. Okay, let's get a notch apple here. Okay, this crossbow doesn't do anything. Let's bring up the sharpness eight axe. Oh, he's running now. I, I'm, I'm making a fool of myself. I'm going back home. All right, but now we only have door five and door eight left. And on day 88, door eight should be open. And door eight is this way, I think. First, let's stock up on some food. And I should probably repair my armor. Bam, bam, bam. Bam! And I should be ready to go. I feel like I know this maze on the back of my hand now. Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't. This maze is massive. I finally found it. Door number eight. And this one is totally different. I have to go into this little cave. There's a lot of emeralds scattered around here. Could the wool just be right in front of me? Like, please, I don't want to go through another giant battle anymore. We are in and whoa. All right. I wasn't expecting that. We're in a giant jungle. There's literally no way I'm going to be fighting anything in this giant place. There's so many vines everywhere. Oh, of course, there's spawners. Break that. There's giant trees everywhere. All right, let's climb up here and see. What spawner is this? I can't, there's nothing in there. Looks like there's a lot of structures up there, though. All right, we are up and wow. It's a whole different place. Oh, oh my God. What? All right, let's get these apples ready. I I did not see that even coming. But as I was saying, up here is a whole different area. There is a little area right here. So let's scout this place out first. Oh, there's a lot of spawners here. What's in here? Oh, I really thought I found the wool. There's a potion called the life potion, though. I'm not sure if that's a hint or anything. All right, but let's explore this entire place. Are these killer bees? It looks like it. Oh, my God. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, I just had the OP clutch. I can't believe I stuck that. I need that on instant replay. <laughs> I'm invisible. What? Oh, what are those? Ooh, those are fast. All right, what's over here? There's another secret cave into the wall. Oh, oh my god, these guys are dually. These guys got duallys, bro. Oh my god. We gotta break these ASAP and break that. But I'm gonna spend the night here and rest a little bit. And I checked this entire tree right in the middle, and there's literally nothing in here. Oh man. Oh, thank God I feather falling four. But there's no wool in this giant tree right here. So the monument block must be hiding somewhere in this forest. I haven't been to one of those houses yet. It could be hiding somewhere in there. All right, we're almost here. Anything here? A chest with nothing. Hey, leaves though. Okay, there's another house over here. Oh my God. This guy kind of beefy. Anything up here? Bruh. Yeah, I'm lost. You know what? Let's take a look inside this tree again and give it another try. Maybe I missed something here. Okay. Oh, what is this? Summon the mighty Kai. Okay, I'm guessing it'll spawn something back at my loading area. But there's nothing here other than this. Let's at least steal the diamond block. Fill up here. Snatch. I don't see anything important, though. I'm stumped, guys. I I'm really stumped. I've been running around for days, and I still can't find any hints to where it would be. And after days and days of searching, I finally found the area. Oh, is this it? Oh, yes. Finally. That took me ages, literally. Oh, yes, the lime wool. All right, let's head back home. Now I just need to find my way out of this giant jungle, bruh. Ah, uh, here it is. Oh, yeah. And just like that, we are back home. Let's come down here and place down the lime wool. That's seven pieces of wool. We need one more left. But let's go see who was summoned. Oh, my God. He just sells a bunch of arrows. These are some OP arrows. I probably wouldn't use any of this, though. I thought it would be selling like netherite armor. And why do I still have invisibility? How did this even happen? Let's grab a bucket and let's drink some milk. Ah, uh, nice to see my face again. But you know what? Let's take some of these emeralds and try out some of these arrows. Because I feel like some of them might be helpful. I don't really know how to switch out between arrows, though. It's like, what if you want to use a specific arrow? What do you do? Slow falling. Can I hit myself with it? I just stand right here. Ugh. And slow falling eight for eight minutes. What? I thought about it for a couple seconds. It was for a minute. All right. I guess I have eight minutes now. And speed two. 
Uh. Yay. I'll buy some Wither of Deaths, though. And who should we try this on? Is there Iron Golem around? I'm sorry, guys, but I'm gonna have to give you Withering 3. You're my test subject. It didn't work. He's just mad at me. Hold on. I just realized it's day 93, and that is the last day day 5 is open. I need to go quick, or else I won't be able to finish this and leave this place. Oh, no. It's midday, and I still haven't found it yet. Oh, I found it. Door 5. But I just realized I could have spent the whole night searching for it. But this is looking a lot like the other maps. I wonder what the trick is for Door 5. Ooh, there's a chest right here with a lot of stone bricks. That is really odd. Usually, there's some good stuff in here. I guess I need to do a lot of building to get to this wool. Ooh, I did run into this, though. This is the main entrance to the ice palace, I guess. Oh, man. I don't even want to know what's in there. Let's just hide out here for a bit. All right, I got a snack, and let's go. Okay, it looks like there's a lot of water down there. Let's make sure I don't fall. And skeletons. Oh, my God. This makes life so much harder. I'm just run past all you guys. Don't mind me. We've made it. Oh, what is it? What? This is Ryan Polar Bears. All right, I'm out. Peace out. It's nice knowing you guys. I'm gonna block you guys off here. Nice. All right, and the scenery totally changed. Oh, of course. Phantoms. I just gotta find the wool and get out as fast as possible. There's a ch Oh my, that got knocked back 40. And from my experiences, the monument block is always hiding somewhere away from the main course, if you guys know what I mean. I'm guessing it's all the way at the top, or it could be at the beginning, and it's making me just go through all the pain. All right, I finally made it up here, and there's a giant ice palace. Um, I might be wasting my time going in there. I most likely already ran past the monument block, but let's just go. First of all, let's do like a quick run around the perimeter. Okay, maybe the wool is actually in there. Oh man, I really need to go in there let's get my apples ready and let's go to war hello sir oh the first thing oh man what is this okay let me just uh run from you guys here let's build all the way to the top that's why they gave me stone bricks right okay i'm up here and it doesn't seem like anything is in the middle well let's get down from here how about in here is there anything in here oh okay i found a new compartment of the place oh the giant hole in the ground nice i wonder where that could lead me all right it has to be in here all right there's a waterfall i guess let's climb up i think i just wasted my time bro are you kidding me I did all that? Oh, it, it keeps going up. Never mind. Oh, man. Does it go all the way to the top of this mountain? Oh, I finally found it. All that running was worth it. Let's go. The final monumental block. I knew that giant ice palace was going to be a waste of time. And back home I go. This should be the last thing to light up. Let's head over here and place the final monumental block. What do I do now? There's no way I'm finding these ones. Where, where do I find these? I definitely didn't complete the mission, did I? Well, I did some brainstorming and some research on the map. And I literally have no idea what to do. I went through all eight doors. And it's still not working. I am missing some blocks though but i have no idea where to find it does this train system work yet what actually what oh am i am i done did it did oh okay i don't think i'm done it teleported me somewhere random where am i oh okay why am i in a horror movie right now go away all right there's a lot of different corners to take why is this guy floating there's even more stuff in here oh who is that hero brian nice to meet you bro I, th I thought you'd be a lot harder to kill to be honest what is this well i'm guessing i'm not done yet or uh, what is oh this is an elevator this is an elevator i don't think it works though i'm so lost what is happening <laughs> Uh, okay. Let's head back to the elevator. Maybe I can go upstairs or something. Find my escape. Oh, here we go. Some more hero brines. Oh. oh, no. What is this? Oh, I'm getting ganged right now in the corner. Okay, this chest has a lot of emeralds and a skeleton skull. I don't want to know who that's from, though. Let's continue searching. I probably shouldn't be opening these chests because they spawn a whole bunch of stuff. Of course, right beside TNT, too. That was so planned. This might be where I find all the other pieces of wool. I'm not sure. I'm at the very top, too. Oh, there's a light gray wool. What? Okay, I guess this is where I find the other pieces. All right, let's head home. If I can even find the train. I think I found it. Is it this? Oh, I think it is. All right, let's go. Let's go back home. That was the scariest thing I've ever experienced. I'm back home. I guess that's how I escape. I got to collect all of these little pieces through that train after the doors. And I have seven more to go. I guess I didn't spend my time that wisely. Maybe on day 200, though. Let me know in the comments. But now I'm going to spend day 100 resting because uh, this was a journey. Well, there you have it. I survived 100 days as a maze runner. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.